Well, so then you might say, well, what would you want to be king? You could say king of the world or king of your own soul. What do you want to subordinate yourself to? How about your heroic willingness to encounter the unknown and articulate it and share that with people? There's no nobler vision than that. And I, I don't see that it's merely arbitrary. And so, and it's not merely arbitrary too, because if you do that, to the degree that you do that, assuming your society isn't entirely corrupt, you will be successful. It will actually aid you practically. You'll rise up above men. You'll be selected by women. You'll be admirable. You'll be valued. And, and you know that because if you look at the people that you admire and value, again, unless you've taken a detour into dark places and are, 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 are possessed with admiration for people who are working for malevolent purposes and for destruction, you just have to watch the people that you admire and try to figure out what's common across them and draw your own conclusions. And you can ask yourself too, when you're torturing yourself with your conscience because you're not doing what you should be and you know it, what is it that you're torturing yourself in relationship to? You have a vision of your own ideal and you torment yourself if you're not matching it. What's the ideal? Well, you don't know, right? It's, it's kind of incoherent and, and poorly articulated, but that doesn't mean it isn't trying to manifest itself and, and make itself known to you. It's really the purpose of religious education is to make that ideal articulated. Well, we've lost that. It's not a good thing.